rather distasteful story about a father educating his small son. He said to the boy, stand on this chair, jump and I'll catch you. And the boy stood on the chair and he jumped and his father stepped back and the boy fell on the ground and the father said there, that's called the school of hard knocks. Don't trust anyone, not even your own father. I Every morning in this chapel, 500 teenagers are given good reason to believe that their fathers and mothers did the right thing by sending them away to private school especially to this private school, where they get to learn that what's good for them may be good for the rest of society as well. Father Leo, can you... Father Leo, can you hear us all right? Yes, thank you. I'm just going to turn to what's paragraph 19 of your statement. I'm not going to ask yes. you in great detail. You told us a little bit about what's there already. Without going into details, um, uh, first of all, I'd like to ask you about RCF 40. Is it right that there had been, in respect of one child, um, one child, RCA 60, had suffered some bullying at the school? Um, and. RCF 40. I'm looking at your paragraph 19A, if it helps. Oh, yes. Um, just a minute. Yes, I know. <coughs> I think I know to whom you are referring. Yes. Um, is it right that uh, at school the, the child had, um, there had been allegations of bullying by other students and much later, in 2008, uh, he told his sister that he'd been repeatedly raped by a lay teacher? Do you recall that? that? Is no, because I wasn't there in 2008. I've found out about it since. But at the time, um, I, in, in, in when I was headmaster, the, the allegations were all about bullying and so on. And we looked carefully into those allegations, of course, and decided in the end they were without merit. I had advice on this matter. Who did you have advice from? The uh, solicitors and accessible for them was the house matron who was a very efficient ex-RAF nurse. And the house matron had a very full logbook. And the logbook showed that some of the things being complained about hadn't happened. I'm not saying that boys always get on with each other. Um, but there's further background on, mm. on that in the case of this boy who you refer to, he's dead, but you, you refer to him by encode. Yes, he, he committed suicide in 2003, 2013, I think. No. That's right, yes. Okay. There's a whole complicated and sad family background to that. Thank you. And at that time, um, 
that was, as you say, when the allegations of sexual abuse were made. It was after your retirement, but you heard of it. Yes, but it much well after my retirement, um, the bombs and then as well as from Ampleford. The It surprised me that the RCA 60s father, who'd been looking for things which he could stir against Ampleford, Can I ask you to me. pause there for, so, for good reason? I have a good reason, but could we just just stop with um, that recollection for a moment, all right? Because, yes. um, and, and we'll explain the reason to you later on, if that's okay. <laughs>